In this video, we'll be covering how to use animation tools in Photo Mirage. Animation tools are by far Photo Mirage's most important tools. Without them, you wouldn't be able to create a photo animation at all. The very first tool you'll use is the Motion Arrow tool. The tool is active by default, so we can get started right away. So in this image of water coming out of a shower head, I want to animate the water. So all you have to do is simply click, drag, and release the mouse to place motion arrows over the areas of the image we want to animate, and make sure that each arrowhead is pointing in the direction we want to see the movement. So we'll make sure these arrows are pointing down. Then to limit the area that will be animated, we'll select the anchor points tool up here, right next to the motion arrows tool. And then we're gonna click all around the water to define the parts of the image that we want to keep still. So everything that's on the other side of these anchor points is not going to move. Now, after you have your motion arrows and anchor points plotted, we can come down to the bottom and click play to preview the animation. And it looks pretty good. Nothing outside of the area that we want to animate is moving. However, if your first attempt isn't perfect, there are a few ways you can refine your photo animation until you're happy with it. So I'm gonna click stop to continue working on the image. And now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to make a silly mistake by adding a few motion arrows on the outside of my anchor points, which isn't something you would normally want to do, but we'll hit play so you can see how that will change your animation. And as you can see, that produces an unwanted result. Now we have different areas of our image moving that we don't want to be animated. Luckily, you can easily move and manipulate motion arrows as well as anchor points to fix these kinds of mistakes. So to move a motion arrow, all you have to do is click right in the middle of the arrow to select it. You can see it's selected. And then just click and drag from the middle to place the arrow in a new location. So we'll drop it here inside of our anchor points. And you can do the same thing with anchor points. So I want to adjust a couple of these up top. So I'll just click to select and then move it to the desired location. Now you can also rotate, lengthen, or shorten a motion arrow. So to do that, you'll just click on the arrow start or end point to select it, and then just drag that point to wherever you want it. So we'll drag it inside the anchor points. Now it's gotten much longer, it's at a different angle. Uh, and then we'll click and drag the end point back inside so that it is facing the direction we want it to face and it's the proper size. And if you simply want to delete a motion arrow or an anchor point, you can just come up here, click the delete icon, looks like a little trash bin, and then just click right on the arrow. So we'll get rid of this guy up here that's still outside of our anchor points and it's gone. Now the last way you can manipulate your animation under the animation tools is by changing the speed of the animation. So you come over here to the slider so right now it's set on three, which looked a little bit slow in our last preview. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to the faster side to 0.5, it's as fast as we can go. Come down here and hit play and we'll see how that looks. Pretty good. And that's pretty much it for animation tools. Now you're fully ready to bring your own images to life. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to check out the rest of our tutorial videos on the welcome screen.